Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving into an important question for all air pistol users. How long can you safely leave a CO2 cartridge inside your air pistol? And what happens if you leave it in for too long? Let's break it down. CO2 air pistols use small metal cartridges filled with carbon dioxide gas. When you insert a cartridge, the gas is released into the pistol's chamber, providing the pressure needed to fire pellets or BBS. The question is once that CO2 cartridge is in. How long can you leave it inside if you're not planning to shoot right away, even when not? Firing CO2 can slowly leak through seals inside the gun. These seals are usually made of rubber or synthetic materials that can shrink, dry out, or get damaged over time if exposed to CO2 pressure continuously, typically. You can leave a CO2 cartridge in for about 1-2 to two weeks without major issues. Beyond that, slow leaks can cause pressure loss, meaning fewer or weaker shots when you fire. Temperature plays a big role here, too. CO2 pressure is affected by heat and cold. In very hot weather, pressure inside the cartridge increases, which can stress the seals more. In very cold weather, pressure drops, and your gun might not perform well. If you don't plan to use your air pistol for several weeks or more, it's best practice to remove the CO2 cartridge. This helps protect the seals from damage and prevents gas from leaking unnecessarily. Also, consider regularly lubricating the seals with a suitable silicone-based lubricant designed for air guns. This keeps them flexible and helps prevent leaks. Here's a quick summary for you, for short term. Storage up to 1-2 to two weeks, you can leave CO2 in the gun safely. For longer periods, remove the cartridge to protect seals and avoid leaks. Store your air pistol and CO2 cartridges in a cool, dry place away from extreme temperatures. Regularly check and maintain seals for optimal performance. Following these tips will help you. Get the most out of your CO2 air pistol and avoid unexpected problems. If you have any questions or want to know more about ergon maintenance, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more shooting tips and guides. See you next time.